How does application development, software development, relate to potty training? Yes, I said potty training. <laughs> so I'm a fairly new mom. I have a three-year-old and a six-month-old. And when we were about to have our baby girl, we decided that we needed to talk to our toddler about potty training. So we sat him down and said, okay, Michael, you need to be potty trained by the time your sister gets here. And you remember how excited you were to find out that you were gonna have a baby sister and how awesome it's gonna be to be a big brother? Well, you need to do a couple things for us. So we basically gave him a nine month project plan. And we said, these are all the things that you need to complete. Here's your supplies. Here's all the things you need to do, but you only have until nine months when your sister gets here. It's pretty ridiculous to think that he'd actually be able to comprehend all these things that he would need to get done. But isn't that exactly what we're asking teams to do that are still using the waterfall methodology? And just as a high level for um, a comparison so you guys can get a picture of what that methodology is, it's legitimately think about a waterfall and you have these different phases and the waterfall flows down into these different phases, but at the end, you still have to have everything done by a certain amount of time. This project needs to be complete no matter what. It's not effective. It's not efficient. There, it doesn't account for any type of change. It doesn't account for anybody learning things differently. And it definitely does not account for a certain phase to take longer than another. It just doesn't work. So why are anybody still doing these, this type of methodology? So what I want you guys to think about is there are other options. I personally have found that the Agile methodology works a lot better. About 10 years ago, I got introduced to the Agile methodology. I started at ING Direct and they were just starting their transformation from Waterfall to Agile. And literally within the first couple weeks, I got to see the benefits first-handed to see how fast things were changing and how effective it could be. Now, how does that relate to real life? Just like in real life, things change all the time. And we need to be able to be adapting to that change. We need to be able to shift and figure out what's working best. If you compare the two methodologies, waterfall over here, again, you have this timeline that you have to get everything done. And in those cases, your customer may not even see that end result until after that full timeline. And most likely, they're not going to even get exactly what they wanted. With Agile, you're able to take that product that you're working on and break it out into smaller pieces, smaller chunks of work that are more digestible. That way, you're able to adjust a lot quicker if something is going well or not going well. And again, that's just like real life. You're not going to keep doing something if it's not working. So why in our professional lives would we do the same? Just think about these different options. Another option is Kanban. which is still part of the Agile methodology and it still uses all the same principles. The main difference is that you're always working on whatever the highest priority is. So back to the potty training, there's always gonna be new priorities and we need to be able to shift to that, just like in real life. I personally have used Kanban in a lot of, for a lot of different teams. And I'll give you three different examples of where I have recommended Kanban to be used. And this could be from a team that just is transitioning to Agile, 
or a team that has been using Agile and they just want to see better productivity or they want some change and they want to try something different. So the first example is production support or really any type of intake process. This could even be outside of IT. You're still breaking down things into those smaller pieces. Again, the main difference is you're always working on whatever that highest priority item is. The second option, the example, that I would like to share with you is teams that have been using Agile and maybe they're just not seeing the benefit they thought they would. Maybe their priorities are changing too often. Maybe they just need to shake it up a little bit. Maybe they just need to see what other ways there are to do things. The third option of a type of change that I recommend uh, teams to use Kanban are teams that are literally moving too fast. These might be teams that would have an automated pipeline. You might hear being able to deploy on demand. These teams are literally being able to deploy faster than they're able to plan for. And it wouldn't even make sense for them to be using anything longer than weekly or even daily if they're able to get things to production at least once a day. So I'll stop talking, talking shop. Back to the potty training. So how did that really happen? How is it currently happening? Well, we all know that nine month project plan didn't work. We never realistically even got past the first couple weeks with that type of methodology. So what did work? Well, we tried, maybe we tried one thing and we see how, how it worked. And things actually were going really well. Then a new priority came up. Our baby girl was born. So our priorities shifted a little bit. Maybe some other examples of things that could change or change your shift in what you need to be working on your priorities. Maybe I came home late from work and making dinner was a higher priority. Or maybe I needed to use some of the supplies for an event and he's not able to actually use his supplies to get his, his project done. There's lots of benefits to Kanban. Just to name a few, it is more effective and efficient. It is able to be flexible and change as needed. You ultimately are going to see an increase in productivity. And again, it's just another option. And that's what I would like you all to think about. There are other options. If something's not working for you, change it up. If you guys end up using Kanban, great. If not, that's fine too. And the sooner we think about that mind shift, think about how in reality things are changing all the time, the sooner we can start to manage that better in a more effective and efficient way. Thank you. <laughs>